Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Rachel Colton of RNC and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a macrame headband. You could also make a barrette or a hair clip if you prefer. What you'll need to create this project is you'll need your string or your rope. I'm going to be using three millimeter single strand cotton string from knotandrope.com. You will also need some painter's tape to secure your string to your surface while you work. And then to create the headband, if you're going to make this for a baby or a small child like I'm going to do today, you can use a pair of pantyhose that you cut into a loop to create a stretchy nylon headband. If you want to create this for an adult or an older child, you can just use a plain plastic or fabric headband. To assemble your headband, you're gonna need some hot glue. And I like to put a piece of felt on the back just to make sure that the surface is flat and smooth. Now I'm gonna be using a rotary cutter and a self-healing mat to cut my pantyhose, but if you don't have those supplies, that's fine. You can just use a regular pair of scissors and it'll work just as well. So let's get started. For this design, I have cut six pieces of string to about 24 inches each. And since I'm gonna be working on a flat surface, I'm gonna use a piece of painter's tape to secure my strings. Now we're gonna want a little fringe on either end. So I'm going to secure my tape about an inch or an inch and a half from the top. And then I'll start working underneath that painter's tape. To begin the design, you need to find the third string over from the right. This is going to be our filler string that comes across at a diagonal. The other three strings to the left will be the working strings. So pick up this next string over to the left. Right now it's sitting behind our filler string. So what we need to do to make our first double clove hitch knot is we need to cross this over in front. This makes a loop. Bring that string around behind and through the loop. Then pull down on it and tighten it up to the tape. Now we need to repeat that. The string is now over here on the right, so cross it in front and it makes this loop. Bring it around behind, pull down, and tighten up to meet the other half. Now you're gonna do the same thing with the next string over. It's sitting behind, so cross it over in front, around behind and through, pull down, and pull tight and repeat and do the same thing with your final string on this side. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So take your third string from the right this will come across at a diagonal as the filler string. Pick up your next string over toward the right, cross it on top of the filler string, bring it around behind the filler string and through the loop, then pull down and pull tight. Now repeat over the filler string, around behind, through the loop, pull down, and pull tight. Repeat that with the last string to the right, over in front, around behind, through the loop, pull down, pull tight, and repeat over, behind, through. That's the top part of our first diamond. What we're gonna do now is just using the four center strings, we're gonna make a square knot. So with your four center strings, take the rightmost string and cross it over the two in the middle. Then take your leftmost string on top of that one. 
take that left string behind the center two through this loop over here on the right and then pull those two working strings tight to the top. Now repeat the same thing on the other side. Take the left string over the center, right on top of left, right behind the center, through the loop, and pull tight. Now we're going to close up our diamond by creating the bottom portion. So take your left outermost string. This will be the filler string coming across toward the center. Pick up the next string over to the right. Make your double clove hitch knots by coming over, around, and through two times. Then pick up the next string and make a double clove hitch knot again. And now the other side. So pick up your right outermost string that's going to come across toward the center. Pick up the next one toward the left and make your double clove hitch knots. And then once you reach this point, you're going to just continue on to connect the two sides in the center. And then you're going to keep going to start into your second diamond. So keep working across, making double clove hitch knots. So now that we've formed the left side of the second diamond, we need to make the other side, starting with the third string over from the right. The other two off to the right will form the knots. So once you have the top half of your second diamond, you're going to make another square knot in the center using just these four strings. And I'll show you one more time how to make a square knot. Take the right string over the center, left on top of right, behind center, through the loop, and tighten. Then do the opposite, left over center, right on top, behind, and through and then pull tight to complete your square knot. Now you're gonna do the same thing you did up here. You're gonna close this diamond, then you're going to form the other side and continue into your third diamond. And once we have three diamonds, I'll show you how to put your headband together. When you get to the bottom of your final diamond, don't forget to make that one last set of double clove hitch knots in the center to connect everything at the bottom. So once you have your three diamonds with your square knots, you just take your tape off and then you wanna find your scissors and we're going to trim a little bit of fringe at either end. If you'd like to make sure this is all even, you can use a piece of painter's tape or a little piece of cardboard as a guide. Otherwise you can just estimate about an inch of fringe and just cut your excess off following the diagonal of those diamonds. You're going to do that at both ends. And you can either leave the ends as they are, or you can use a fine tooth comb to brush out your fringe. Once you have your fringe brushed out and trimmed up to the length that you would like, you are ready to assemble your headband. If you're making this for an adult, you can use either a plastic headband or you could use a fabric headband. And you just want to put some hot glue along the back or along the headband 
and then secure that in place. I'm gonna be making this for a baby. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pair of pantyhose and I just bought the largest size of these so that I could have large headbands. Didn't want them to be too tight. I have a self-healing mat and a rotary cutter. If you don't have these supplies, you can just cut this with scissors. It will work out just fine. So what you do is you just cut the leg of the pantyhose off. And then I usually cut these to about three inches. And again, you can do this with regular scissors. And once you cut it to about three inches, you just want to take it and kind of tug on it. And you'll now have this loop. So if it's high up on the thigh, you'll get a bigger loop. If you cut this closer to the toe, cut the toes off first. And then if you cut it down by the ankle or the foot, you'll get a smaller, tighter headband. So just be aware of that and how small or large you want that to be. Now, when I'm making these for a baby or a young child, what I do is just take my hot glue gun, run a line of hot glue down the center of the design, and then you just lay your pantyhose in that line of hot glue. Give it a little press, just be careful because some of the glue can go through. You don't want to burn your fingers. And then if you want, you don't have to do this, but if you want to make sort of a flat, soft surface, I just take a piece of felt in a color that's similar to the string I'm using. Cream would probably be better here, but I don't have any cream. I just have white. So I just cut it to about the length of the design in a thin rectangle and then put another little strip of glue there and lay that felt across just so that there is a flat soft surface against your baby's head. And then that's it, your headband is complete. So here is our finished product and you can experiment with these in different colors and different designs, have fun and be creative and add these to your wardrobe or your child's wardrobe. Thank you and please subscribe.